guys, welcome to the first proper video on this channel. Uh, we are going to be looking at the difference between Scolopendra subspecies and Scolopendra dohani. Now I'm making this video because it appears lots of people think they have Scolopendra subspecies when in fact they have Scolopendra dohani. Um, there are pretty easy ways to tell in the fact that subspecies have got spines on the underside of the terminal leg. So let's have a look at an example of this, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, under the terminal legs here, there's not many spines at all. In fact, there are none. This is a telltale factor that this is in fact Scolopendra de Honey. Yeah, she's a very, very fat specimen. I'm not going to feed her for a while. At the moment, I'm just trying to find her a male. And then hopefully she'll lay eggs for me soon, after I pair them, obviously. Okay, so this is Scolopendra subspinipes caraja. And as you can see, there's lots of spines at the base, and the terminal legs are much, much larger. This species is absolutely gorgeous, and one I really want to breed in the future. This is an adult female. They're actually pretty rare in the UK hobby at the moment, but absolutely stunning. Let's get a closer look at her, shall we? Here she is in all her glory. She's absolutely stunning, and I love her so much. She's a good eater, as you can probably see, because she's pretty chunky. And she's absolutely stunning, with those orange on the legs, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping to pair this species in the future, but I don't know of any males in the United Kingdom at the moment, so it's probably a no for now. But yeah, absolutely stunning. There will be videos on each of the species shown coming soon. Why is it important that we know what species we've got? Well, because they're different species, they may require different care. So, with just this simple little method here, you can tell. Also, when it comes to breeding, uh, obviously the low carols and stuff matters with Scolopendra dohani and Scolopendra subspinipes, but you don't want to go breeding Scolopendra subspinipes with Scolopendra dohani by accident, because, well, you're ruining the bloodlines in the hobby. But also, um, the low carols matter as well when you're breeding, but that's for another video in the future. So you can't, like, breed a Vietnamese orange-legged dohani to giant Vietnamese centipede which is what I like to call the yellow leg Dhani. But yeah. They are absolutely stunning animals. And um yeah. Just do your research, know what species you've got. And that's about it. Thank you for watching today's video and I shall see you in the next one.